Today we're talking about giving your senior dog a bath. Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. I'm Tanya and my trusty sidekick Dexter is somewhere around probably taking a nap. Today we're talking about giving your senior dog a bath. As our dogs age, sometimes bath time isn't as easy as it once was. But with senior dogs, they may actually need extra baths due to not grooming as much or even sometimes incontinence. So today I'm going to talk about how to make bath time a little easier for you and your dog. And I'll also be demonstrating with Dexter. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon. You'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And if you're back, Dexter and I truly appreciate your ongoing support. It means the world to us. While Dexter is a 14-year-old Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, he's had plenty of baths over his life. That long white fur is notorious for getting dirty, especially since he likes to step in a mud puddle here and there. He's always been a trooper about having his baths. He hasn't loved them, but he's been easy. And for those who need some extra tips on how to give your dog a bath, I'll leave some links in the description below. So make sure you check those out after this video. I've definitely noticed some changes in Dexter's bath time. He isn't able to stand as long. So a lot of times we actually go to a sitting position, even sometimes a laying down position. Dogs, just like humans, start to have mobility challenges as they get older. Their sight and even some anxieties can change as well. So we're gonna talk about that too. And some senior dogs may need more frequent baths. That's why today I'm gonna to share some of my tips on how I make Dexter's bath a little less stressful and easier for him to navigate. With a few simple adjustments, you'll be able to improve your dog's bath time, making him feel a little more comfortable and safe and secure. But first I wanted to thank my friends at Four Legger Shampoo for sponsoring this video. I've been using four four-legger shampoo on Dexter since 2016. Now let's talk about some specific changes that might affect bath time. I mentioned earlier about mobility. Mobility can become a great challenge with your dogs, especially when you're trying to get them into a wet, slippery tub. If you have a large dog and you can't lift them up into the tub, consider ramps or steps to help your dog access the tub safely. For our smaller dogs like Dexter, although he's not quite small, but he's small enough for me to lift up, we can gently place them in the tub or the sink. And remember, gentle handling is key when lifting or moving them to avoid any strain. Now a dog's senses may also change as they age, things like vision and hearing. So talk your dog through the bath. Use consistent cues they can understand. Tell them we're getting into the bath now. We're going to turn on the water. Gentle touch can also be a great way to reassure them. Don't just plop them in. Let them know what's going to happen. And remember, new anxieties are common. Familiarize your dog with the bathroom beforehand to avoid anything loud or startling. So if your dog doesn't follow you into the bathroom all the time, go ahead and take them in, give them a few snacks, let them get used to the environment. I know some senior pups need more frequent baths due to age-related conditions like incontinence. For sensitive senior skin and frequent baths, it's crucial to choose your dog shampoo wisely. That's why I always recommend Four Legger's Organic Shampoo. All their products are amazing, but in today's bath, I'm going to use their Revitalize Organic Neem Dog Shampoo with Sweet Orange Essential Oil. This four-legger shampoo is packed with gentle plant-based ingredients like aloe vera and organic coconut, olive, and jojoba oils. It cleanses beautifully without stripping away any natural moisture, which is crucial for older pups. It also has neem oil, which is anti-inflammatory which can help with aches and pains. And my favorite, the sweet orange essential oil. I just love that smell. But it's not just about smelling great, it also promotes the production of collagen to repair damaged skin and reduce skin inflammation. So it's definitely a win. Four Legger Shampoo cleanses effectively without harsh chemicals that can irritate or dry out already delicate skin. The last thing you want to do is add any nasty ingredients to your aging dog. When those extra baths are needed, reach for Four Legger and you won't be disappointed. We want to make bath time as easy as possible for your dog. So if you normally brush your dog, bathe your dog, dry your dog, brush your dog, trim your dog, do his nails all in one day, break it up. Brush your dog one day. 
give them a bath the next day. Dry them obviously if needed, brush them out again the next day, and then trim them the following day, and then do his nails the next day. Don't do it all at once. For the actual bath, try to create a spa-like environment. We like spas. There's a reason we like spas. It's calming and stress-free. The first thing I always have for Dexter's bath is a non-slip mat. So I wanna make sure that that ground surface is secure for him. I use a handheld sprayer so that I can spray Dexter. It also has different power levels too, so I can use a gentle spray versus a harsh spray. I wanna use warm water, nice warm fluffy towels, and even some calming music. Follow me for long, you know that I love my calming music. It's so beneficial for our dogs. And as I mentioned, I don't use the sprayer on full blast. Senior pups can be more sensitive to loud noises and strong water pressure. If your dog is really anxious about his bath time, you can look into some natural calming aids such as flower essences and try to make that bath time and environment as serene as possible. Remember, communication is key. Talk your dog through the bath. Let them know what's happening, offer lots of praise and treats when needed. A soothing voice can make a world of difference. Your dog may feel more comfortable sitting or even lying down during his bath. Like I mentioned, Dexter used to stand, now he can't stand as long. And that's okay. You may need to let them know and guide them into a sitting position or a down position so they know they can. Just make sure at the end of the bath, you help them stand up, place your hand under their belly for support, and you rinse thoroughly. As you wash your dog, make sure to avoid getting water in their ears and their eyes. I use a wet, warm washcloth around Dexter's face. Remember, we wanna to try to make their bath as short and sweet as possible. Senior dogs may not have the patience for long baths, so focus on efficiency. After Dexter is washed and rinsed, I like to give him a good towel dry right in the tub. I use a microfiber towel that helps soak up a lot of the water. It's also soft on his skin. And when I do this in the tub, it helps prevent extra drips when I get him out of the tub. Dexter's an air dry dog versus using a blow dryer. So I put on a nice dog drying jacket. This helps absorb even more moisture. Remember, lifting a senior dog requires extra care. Make sure to support their hind legs and chest for a safe and stable exit. And of course, a non-slip mat by the tub is a must. Wet paws on slippery floors are a recipe for disaster. After I get Dexter out of the tub, it's time for him to get cozy and relaxed and naturally dry off. I place Dexter on his bed that has an extra comforter that keeps his bed from smelling like a wet dog. I also drape a warm towel over Dexter and turn on his calming music. Dexter will fall asleep for the next few hours as his coat starts to dry. In his younger years, after his power nap, he would have what we call bath mad, where he'd run around the house, zooming around, snorting, being real mad that he had the bath. Now that he's a senior dog, he doesn't do that. I kind of miss that bath mad, but I'm glad that Dexter can at least relax after his bath. So I did want to address using a hair dryer. Many senior pups, and even dogs in general, aren't a huge fan of loud noises. If you're gonna use a hair dryer, make sure to use it on a low setting and focus on areas that tend to stay damp, like their ears, chest, and belly. I'll drop some video links in the description below about teaching your dog how to enjoy the blow dryer. But most importantly, remember each dog is an individual. So you want to experiment, watch your dog, see what's going to work best for them. You want to try to make their bath time a positive experience, filled with love, patience, understanding, and of course, lots of treats. I do want to thank you for joining me today. And once again, thank my friends at Four Layer for sponsoring this important video. If you have any questions or comments, just let me know. And if you want to dive deeper into your dog's behavior, training, and care, do check out my private Patreon page. That link is below. And until next time, remember to pause and enjoy life. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to both of our YouTube channels for more free content. Let me tell you a story about the baddest dog that ever was. Sneaking food from the fridge, tearing up the garbage. He's a goofy old Dexter the dog. He's a bad, bad dog. Dexter the dog, the baddest pup that there ever was Seat stealing all day long, howling like a junkyard dog